You must know that this has given a lot of people heartburn. <laughs> yes, I do. If you want to know the truth, it's heartwarming that so many people are worried that I won't finish. Robert Caro has spent more than half his life telling the story of Lyndon Johnson. Four books, some 3,400 pages. But he's only up to 1964, not yet to Vietnam. Which is why when he took a detour to write Working, it caused, well, heartburn. I want people to have some idea of what it is I do, how it is to research this type of book. Thank you. Caro fans may not be happy he took time from finishing the story of LBJ, but it is fascinating to learn how he goes about his masterwork. Caro says he learned about research from his editor at Newsday back in the 60s. This guy looks up at me and he says, just remember, turn every page, never assume anything turn every page. It's advice he's followed researching Lyndon Johnson. You walk into the LBJ presidential library and when you look up at the documents section, what do you see? <laughs> you see at that time 32 million documents. You, they had 40,000 boxes. Each of these boxes holds about 800 pages. That's the only time I felt like turning around and going home. Caro says he has one big rule when interviewing. Your notebooks are filled with a notation, S-U. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Shut up. <laughs> People have a desire, a need to fill in silences. If you could just make yourself shut up, often they'll tell you what you want to know. Then there's writing. Carol remembers what a professor at Princeton told him. You're never going to achieve what you want to achieve, Mr. Caro, unless you stop thinking with your fingers. I knew exactly what he meant. It was so easy for me to write that I didn't think things through. Which brings us back to his final book on LBJ, which is about a third written. Caro took us into his office. This is the outline of the rest of my last volume. From here to there to the end of the book over there. He writes several drafts in longhand, again to slow himself down. After I've done a number of drafts, I go to the typewriter and I do a lot of drafts on the typewriter. Then it goes into this box and the box goes to my typist. When I talked with Caro after his last LBJ book, he said it would take three or four years to finish the final volume. That was seven years ago and he's now 83. Are you really going to Vietnam? Yes. Why? I feel unless I see it and really understand it, I can't make the reader see it. If you should be unable, for whatever reason, to finish the book, have you made provisions for somebody else? No, I've made provisions that nobody else can finish my book. Nobody is going to publish anything with my name on it that I didn't write, not a word. But Caro is determined to finish the story of Lyndon Johnson down to the last word on a Smith Corona Electra 210. How many typewriters do you have? I have at this moment 11, yes. And will that get you through the end of I'm, this? I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> Caro has tried to take care of everything. He uses old-fashioned carbon paper to make copies of what he types. A few years ago, he bought what he says is a lifetime supply, just in case they stop making it.